Let's get into plumbing. The first thing we're going to need to do, obviously, is create a plumbing project. So under Projects, let's click New. For Template File, let's click Browse. Now, I'm going to select Plumbing Default, but just a word here, I like to have a separate plumbing model than my mechanical model, but I do like to combine my mechanical and my electrical together. Because of the fact that plumbing has pipe, mechanical has pipe, so it gets really hard to turn off one set of piping to keep the other set of piping turned on. And also, file size becomes an issue for me. So I'm going to grab Plumbing Default Metric. I'm going to click Open. Now let's go to the Insert tab. Let's click on Link Revit. I'm going to browse to where I'm keeping my backgrounds. I'm going to grab Architectural. I'm going to make sure my positioning is set for Auto, Origin to Origin. I'm going to click Open. Now I'm going to select my underlay. I'm going to click the pin button. Now I'm going to click on edit type. I want to make sure room bounding is turned on. I'm going to click apply. I'm going to click OK. Now we're not going to make a bunch of levels. We know how to do that. We've done it twice already. But I do want to go to my south elevation anyway. So let's double click on our View Elevation South Plumbing icon right here. Don't double click on the bubble, but double click on the black target. I do want to pull my levels out a little bit. I'm going to hit Escape. Now, I just want to align my level 2 with the architectural level 2. So I'm going to type A, L for align. I'm going to select level 2. I'm going to select my level 2. And they're aligned. I'm going to hit Escape a few times. I'm going to go to Floor Plan 1 Plumbing. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to zoom in here. Now, get used to this. The architect is going to put their fixtures in, so there's going to be a couple of ways we can deal with this. We can either put in our own fixtures, we can run pipe just pretending that it's attached to these fixtures, or we can put in little components here. We're going to look at all of those. What I do want to do, though, is I want to turn off that background hatch, so I'm going to type VG. I'm going to scroll down to Floors. And I'm going to click on Patterns. I'm going to click Override. Pattern Overrides, I'm going to uncheck Visible. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to click Apply. I'm going to click OK. There we go. Now what I'd like to do is make some callouts. So I'm going to make a callout of this bathroom and of this bathroom. So I'm going to go to my View tab. I'm going to click Call Out. And I'm going to pick a window right around here. I don't really like the way my call out looks. So let's configure that. I'm going to go to Manage. Now I'm going to go to Object Styles. I want to go to Annotation Objects. Now I'm going to scroll down until I find Call Out Boundary. Now I'm going to drill into here. There's a Call Out Leader line. So my Call Out Boundary, I like those nice and thick. So I'm going to type a 5 for my line weight. And for my line pattern, I'm going to click where it says solid. I'm going to hit my drop down. I'm going to scroll down until I find dash dot. I'm going to click apply. I'm going to click OK. When I zoom in, we'll see it's thicker. And it's on a dash dot line pattern. I like that a lot better. Now, I'm going to double click on this call out. Now, I'm going to go to analyze. I'm going to click on Space. I'm going to put my space in here. I'm going to hit Escape a couple times. Now I'm going to select my space. In my Properties, I'm going to scroll down until I see the Identity data. It's actually 104 MENS, so my number is going to be 104, and my name wants to be all caps, M-E-N-S. Click Apply. Hit Escape a couple times. I'm going to right click on one plumbing call out one. I'm going to rename it. I'm going to call it enlarged men's room. Now I'm going to click OK. What I'd like to do now is in my view template in my properties, I want to click on plumbing plan. And I'm going to click on none. I'm going to apply. And I'm going to OK. Now I'm going to change my view scale. 
This time I'm going to go 1 to 25. Because there's a lot of room. Now, I'm going to close out of here. I'm going to select my callout, and I'm going to right-click. I'm going to create similar. And I'm going to do a callout right here. I'm going to double-click on it. I'm going to set my template from plumbing plan to none. I'm going to click apply. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to change my scale. 1 to 25. I'm going to put a space in. So I'm going to go to analyze, space. Put a space right here. Now I'm going to select my space. I'm going to scroll down and I see that it should be 105, which we got really lucky there. And the name should be women's, all caps, W-O-M-E-N apostrophe S. Click apply, hit escape. I'm going to click on my closed hidden windows. Now I'm just going to save this where I'm keeping my project files. So I'm going to go to my exercise files. I'm going to call this plumbing, upper lowercase, project. I'm going to go to my options. I want one backup. I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to click Save. OK, now we're ready to route some pipe.